All right, so today I finished for Zechariah chapter 9, verses 16 and 17. Finish out the chapter. Listen up. The Lord their God will save them in that day as the flock of his people. For they shall be like the jewels of a crown, lifted like a banner over his land. For how great is its goodness, and how great its beauty. Grain shall make the young men thrive, and new wine the young women. So the metaphor in verse 14 and 15 yesterday was God's people as a weapon. But here is a metaphor of them, now they're in a peaceful setting. Now this metaphor changes, and they're portrayed in this pastures like sheep grazing, uh, sheep grazing up on the hills, the hills white with sheep everywhere against a, a stark, lush, green background, fields, pastures of green with sheep up on the hills on every side, look like jewels of a crown. It's a, it's a it's kind of a hard shift, the metaphor, from the, the people as a weapon, and now they're, they're in this, they're past that, they're in a, a different setting, a setting of peace. And, you know, next comes this symbol of the people like a banner, like a banner lifted up high. And then there's the new grain, the young men the strong with new grain, the women strong with new wine. Of course, new wine would be the non-alcoholic. This would be the pure grape juice, which is so healthful to us. And so here's this picture of prosperity, eternal youth. Of course, you know, you and I, maybe we have some wrinkles now and aches and pains and, and some of those pieces now. But... But in the new world, th those things won't be there. Inflammation, we won't be eating in such a way that things will inflame us. There will be changes. We'll have stark, uh, vibrant, healthful, vibrant, healthful new bodies. Uh, God will uh, do mighty things for us. So here's this picture of ultimate prosperity, ultimate peace, uh, people fullness, uh, fullness on every side, the people dwelling in safety. A great contrast from these pictures of war and violent conflict. But God wants us to know where he's taking us. And he's taking us to those kinds of scenes. It won't be boring. It's not going to be sitting on a cloud with a harp, just, just twinking your harp. It's going to be really interesting and stimulating. The things we're going to learn make Stephen Hawking jealous. There's a time of testing. There's a time of striving. And there's a time when battle is ended. There's a time when war is over. There's a time when we'll get to move in a, in a peaceful way all through the years. There's a time when the flock is safely home and other kinds of growth can occur. So humanity has known little of that kind of situation. We know the battle, the battle of the spiritual battle, the current. That's kind of where we are, the church embattled. We know that. So often the church is off in the thickets, stuck in the thickets, and God has to come and, and bring us out of there, bring us out of the poison oak, bring us out of the poison ivy and get us back in the, into the place where we want to be and where he wants us to be. But there will be a time of rest and repose. So right now, we're in that battle, and we're looking for God's ways. So we go on out into the battle now, resisting the foe, resisting the world, serving our Lord, doing what we need to do. But we know that those other days are coming, and there will be a day of rest and repose. We're looking forward to that. But in the meantime... Uh, we do, we follow the lead, and we do what we need to do. There's a lot of Bible studies to give. There's a lot of people to talk to. There's people that, uh, we've got to find ways to get people to be willing to speak with us about these things. They've been the imprint of this false evolutionary scheme and all the other schemes that go with it is, has been upon them since they were programmed that way in the state schools when they were children. So, yes, we, our, our task is cut out for us. That's okay. God will be with us. But we need to be about our Father's work. And we look forward to this day. Zechariah shows us kind of a snapshot here, a couple of snapshots to encourage us along the way. Mm -hmm.